Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin. And if you didn't see my video yesterday, then you wouldn't know what this video is. But yesterday I did a full face, nope, that's what I'm doing today. Yesterday I did a summer elf haul. So today I'm going to be using those products and products I already had to do a full face of elf video. So I hope you guys are excited to see this. I'm going to be trying out a lot of new products that I haven't tried, but I'm also going to be trying a few products that I've had for a while and love. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it because I know this video is going to be long. So the first thing that I've had for a while and loved is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. So I just like to get a little bit, dab it right where my pores are pretty bad and just rub that in. I do use my fingers. So there's that. I'm using the camera right now because I don't want to like spoil it and show you the palettes, but I feel like I'm going to have to. So that's okay. But there's one product down. I do love this primer. I feel like for a pore primer, it's one of the best at the drugstore. I love it so much. It actually like smooths out the lines and everything. So I really like it. So let's just go ahead and spoil this, I guess, because I'm going to be using this to do my foundation, which is the... Da -da -da. There it is. The um, HD foundation, this is in the shade um, Light Ivory. I typically wear Porcelain, which I think has been renamed now, but I wanted to try this shade because Porcelain is just like a smidge too dark for me, and this one is a new shade and it's lighter, so I wanted to try it, but I feel like it's going to pull too yellow on me, so I guess we will just have to try it and find out. I'm using the Wet n Wild Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This is how I like to apply foundation. I just put it on there and then just kind of like dab it on my face and then rub it in yeah I feel like this is gonna be way too yellow <laughs> oh no hmm. I have very pink undertones which you can tell from the extreme pinkness of my cheeks so this yellow is not probably the best to shade match but we're gonna make it work because I love this foundation and I just spent six bucks to get a new one, so, which is not bad at all, but, you know, money is money. I just plucked my eyebrows and they're like all over me, which is gross. Okay. So it's not terribly bad. I'm just going to kind of like leave it more sheer today instead of like really building it up because it is not the best color match, but it's not bad. Is it bad? I don't think it's bad. Okay, moving on. After I get that hair off my face. Next is concealer. And this concealer is going to be way too dark for me. I can already tell you that. So I might have to cheat a little bit and steal some other concealer that I honestly don't even know where it is. So maybe we'll just have eye bags today. But that is this. And this is the HD. There's like a hair there. Um, this is the HD concealer in the shade fair. This is the lightest shade they have you guys and this is darker than me Like it's darker than my foundation. So I'm just gonna put like the smallest amount under my eye and hope for the best cuz Yeah, like that's darker than my foundation It's ridiculous <laughs> I'm gonna use it like as an eye primer as well just because why not? <laughs> I need an eye primer, so we'll use that. Yeah, okay. If you just use like the smallest amount, then it's fine. You can't tell. Like it could almost be a color corrector on me. That's how dark it is. So, e.l.f. We're going to shade range, please. Next, we're going to use some powder. And I got, where is it? I really should have organized this better. Here we go. The um, e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. I have translucent powder and I did really like that one, but I wanted to try something new. So we're using this. It does come with a little sponge. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use some brush that I have here. We use this one. This is a Vasanti brush. It's a blush brush, but we're going to use it for powder. This powder says translucent, but it does have a little bit of color to it. So be aware of that. If you have dark skin, this probably won't work for you. Oh, actually that's nice. That's actually nice. I like it. I like it a lot so far. 
I feel like I'm gonna run out of it in no time though. And I do feel like it's darkening my skin a little bit. That could be crazy. Yeah, I didn't put like enough foundation on right there, but we're gonna cover it up with blush so it'll be okay. Okay, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna continue to use this mirror though, I think, just because it's a little bit uh, wider than the other mirror. Okay, I didn't get a contour for some stupid reason, but I did get a bronzer. This is the Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer in the shade Warm Tan. This is also the lightest shade they have. Okay, man. So, I'm going to be using an e.l.f. little kabuki brush for this. I'm just going to load it up and throw it on my face and hope for the best, so. Oh, that's not terrible. Okay. I thought it was going to be super dark. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Hmm. That might be terrible, actually. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that terrible? I don't know. Like, I don't think I want to contour with it, but... Oops, I just dipped into the translucent powder. But we're gonna try. I'm gonna just kind of like, not really contour, but kind of. That was scary. A giant wasp just like flew up to my window, so that's cute. <laughs> I hate bugs, you guys, like, I can't do it, especially if it's, like, a wasp or a bee, because I'm allergic to them, so, yeah. I'm allergic to a lot of things, it's really an unfortunate time. Let's just try, I'm going to use the camera, I know that bothers some of you, so I'm sorry, but, gotta do what you gotta do, let's just use this big mirror down here, because my hair gets in the way of everything. There's that. I feel like this is a pretty effortless bronzer, but it doesn't really have like a wow factor for me. Next is something I'm not super excited about, and that's this blush. It's in the shade Shy. Um, if you watched my video yesterday, then you'll know this isn't exactly what I thought I was getting. Like, it's not. It's not as pink on the website. It's more of like a. Oh. More of like a rosier pink, opposed to this like bright pink. So. We're just gonna try it. I'm not gonna knock it till I try it. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll hate it. Let's see. Ooh, it's got like a massive sheen to it. Whoa. Hmm. The uh, wasp came back and it's huge. Mmm. So, verdict is I kinda hate it. It's got like a really sh matte, like, it's really sh like has a sheen. If you know what I mean but not in like a flattering way more in like a here's your pores kind of way hmm yeah kind of looks like it has a highlight in it already okay not loving that mm, okay whatever 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 we're moving on let's go ahead and do brows which if you saw my video yesterday I'm not even gonna tell you just go watch it um yeah there's a little bit of a disaster with this guy but I think I got it fixed. We'll see. So, yeah, go watch that if you want to see what I'm talking about. It does have a nice spoolie. Oh my goodness. I wish I could just, like, show you this giant wasp. Because it's, like, so distracting. And I'm sure it's annoying the crap out of you guys right now. But I keep seeing it and being like, oh my god. And forgetting there's a window in between us. Here's this. It's in the shade Dark Brown. I'm nervous. I don't really like eyebrow pencils. I wear powder. Yes, I know I'm weird, but we'll just see. Okay. It's not terrible. It kind of has like a draggy feel to it, so you can kind of tell. Ugh, that's awful. Which is not the brows, but the pencil's fault. It's my fault because I suck at this so bad. Like, 
I don't, I don't understand <laughs> brow pencils. <laughs> That's so bad. I don't know, like from, hmm. When I'm looking at it like this, it looks fine. But looking at it right there, it's like box brows to the extreme and terrible. And I hate everything about it. Ugh. Okay, we're just gonna go with it, I guess. I don't know. It's not this brow pencil's fault. Like, this actually feels like a really nice brow pencil. But, I'm just really bad at using brow pencils. Like, I can't use pomade. I can't use brow pencils. I can't use... What else is there? <laughs> Gels. I don't know. I'm just a powder kind of girl, I guess. Like, I don't know what looks good and what doesn't, and it's just, mm, that's a lot better than this one. I feel like, anyway. I feel like this one's, like, way too big and boxy, and I don't know what happened. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, do this and hope for the best. Like, I don't even think concealer could just fave this right now. This is just a mess. Can that help? Okay. <laughs> now let's uh, round two this. Also, if you can hear that like weird noise, it's my cat behind me. Like he's literally like back there. <laughs> It's a lot better, but still like too big. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna like make this one a little bit bigger and just forget about it because I feel like there's no saving this one. So we'll just do that. <laughs> now I have a brow gel to use, which is in the shade Very Black. What? Very Black. That's my mascara. Hmm. That could have been bad. Here it is in the shade Dark. So my extremely dark brows are about to be darker. When they say dark brown, they weren't kidding. It's 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 really dark. It's not my brows are typically not this dark. That's definitely got a tint to it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There's my brows. I feel like this one didn't turn out terrible, but this one is just an awful mess and I'm over it. I need my spoolie so I can brush this out a little bit. I got brow gel on my eye, cute. Okay. I wanted the clear brow gel, but I got this one. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of hoping it's like one of those things where it's just like going to come together at the end, but I don't know right now. Also, I forgot to set my eyes, so I'm doing that now. Because they're creasing a little bit from that concealer. Alright, next. Let's do my highlight. For highlight, I'm going to use Moonlight Pearls. I love this highlighter. This is an old favorite. It, it's really beautiful, like especially for a drugstore highlight. It's great. It's really, really pigmented, and it, you do have to do the whole, like, scrape the top layer thing off, but... Okay, focus. Thank you. But it's really, really pretty. After you do that. Like, pretty. <laughs> it's, like, super blinding, and I really, really like it. So, there's that. And I like to put it a little bit on the chin and above the brows because, you know, we really want to draw attention to these beautiful brows I have going on. I feel like I just like really greasy in my cheek area right there from that blush. And I'm not greasy. Like, I'm a very, I have very dry skin and it doesn't look like that right now. Okay, next, let's do some eyeshadow, which I'm super excited about. We have a lot to play with. I have this palette, this palette, this palette. And this palette. I'm definitely using some of these. Um, these, I'm gonna start with this one, I think. 
I'm probably not going to use this one today just because swatching it I wasn't super impressed but that's what this looks like this is the um, uh, smoke to perfection palette I'm not I don't know I don't want to use that we might use some of these I actually think I'm gonna mm, maybe and then we're definitely gonna use these and this guy for sure I'm so excited we're gonna save that for a minute let's see I'm gonna start with this matte white color that's in here and put that all over the lid oh that actually has some pigment to it okay pretty we're just gonna put this like everywhere from lid to a brow bone these do have a lot of kickback but that's okay now I'm gonna dip into this palette and I'm gonna take that lightest shade on the same brush just because I want to play with both of these formulas and I'll put that in the crease okay I like that it's pretty it's not like super pigmented but enough that like I can build it and I can work with it you know which is great for like beginners who don't do a lot of makeup or you know or awful at makeup like me <laughs> so there's that shade and I think that's probably all I'm gonna use from this palette at least for now my camera is dying now I'm gonna dip into these two shades right here starting with a darker shade and I'm gonna put that in the crease pretty okay these have a lot more pigment to them a lot more payoff these are really pretty okay now I'm actually gonna switch brushes because I got some elf brushes so I'm gonna use this one this is like from their um, precision line and it's just a blender brush and I'm gonna take that like orangey color that I was showing you and put that in the crease as well One more. Oh, this brush is soft. Okay. Elf actually makes some really nice brushes for as cheap as they are. Like, they're pretty bomb. So my hair looks disgusting. I'm sorry. I had it in a bun all day at work today. So I just kind of like took it down and brushed it out. And now it's like, ew. <laughs> but that's what it is. So my brows not liking them okay moving on let's do uh, I'm gonna take that darker brown shade a little bit more on this brush and just like work it again because so I feel like it pulled a little bit more warmer than I wanted it to with that orangey shade so it's adding a little bit more cool tone back into the mix okay now from this palette the velvet touch palette I am going to take a flat brush, if I can find one that's clean. Um, here, I'll use this guy. This is a Luxie brush, so we're going to pick up this beautiful yellow shade. And throw that on the lid. Oh my goodness. So pretty. That's not as pigment as I wanted it, though. Let's do this brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush. This is actually like a concealer brush. Yes, there we go. Let's just take our finger, actually. Oh my goodness. You guys. What? <laughs> this is from a drugstore palette, you guys. A palette that cost me $3.20. I would pay... $3.20 for this shadow. I would pay more than $3.20 just for this shadow. Like, this is like high end, beautiful quality. Stunning. Like, this looks like a foiled Makeup Geek shadow, which are my favorite shadows in the world, if you did not know. And this looks like that. So, I will definitely be picking up the other palette that they have the like blue and purpley tones and wearing that as well because these are beautiful they're like very creamy a lot creamier than the um makeup geek ones but they're beautiful now i'm going to take from the mad for matte palette again i want my glasses into the floor that's cute 
I need to like set this over here for now. I'm going to start with that brown color that we put in the transition, the darker one, on this fluffy brush, and I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. I'll work it into the crease. Just to start a little bit. Just because I really just want this yellow to like be the star of the show. This palette's actually really nice too. Like I really like this. This would be really good for people who love matte shadows. I need a little bit more of this yellow on this eye. Just pull it out a little bit further. Just to really cover that whole lid area. And then in the crease a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm just going to take the same brush, that same color, and put it on the lower lash line. Like, this is going to be a very, very easy to do eye look. But I just, I really like that yellow, and I just want it to be like the star of the show. Also, my lipstick's a little crazy, so. And by a little, I mean I'm about to put a hot pink lipstick on. Or at least a hot pink lip liner. Okay, I actually want a little bit darker, so I'm going to mix it with this color right here, just ever so slightly, and put that on the lower lash line as well. There we go. Okay. For brow bone, I'm going to take from this lovely palette, I'm going to take this white shade, and put that on the brow bone. And I'm going to just get this little brush is from Ulta. I'm just going to put that in there. And put that on the brow bone. So pretty. Okay. These are really creamy though. Like they feel like cream shadows, which I'm not here for, but I'm here for this one. I don't really like cream shadows typically, but these are beautiful. This one's not quite as like wowing me as the um, yellow, but I think it's because I'm using a brush. So let's just stick my finger in there a little bit and pop that right there. Yeah, it's because I'm using a brush. These are okay. There went the brush. They're definitely better applied with the finger, like way better, but. They're still pretty with a brush as well. I just want to like put this color all over my face <laughs> as like a highlight. Okay, I need to grab another brush because I dropped that one and I don't want to go looking for it right now in this like mess that is my room right now. So I'm just gonna grab another brush and put that on the brow bone over here. You see like how much better they apply with your finger though, which is whatever like. I typically like shadows better applied with a brush just because I don't like to use my fingers. I need a different brush. But I'll let it slide if it's this pretty. They're kind of like a hybrid. No, that's not working either. They're kind of like a hybrid between um, ColourPop and Makeup Geek shadows. Like they have the foiled effect that the Makeup Geek shadows have, but they feel like a ColourPop shadow. There we go, that's better. Okay, it's getting really dark in here really fast. The sun just went down, so I need to hurry it up. Um, where's my mascara? Okay, mascara, three in one mascara by e.l.f., obviously. Don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but it's the one with the ball on the end. Okay. Um, it's really, really wet, the mascara, and it's not really doing much as in terms of lifting my lashes. Let's try a lower lash line. Okay, yeah. 
Hmm. It's just kind of getting really messy and I don't like it. Hmm. We're gonna make it work. It's just so wet. That's what she said. Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's like kind of getting everywhere. But it's kind of pretty, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I wish it wasn't like such a wet formula, then it might be really pretty, but because it's so wet, how many times am I gonna say that? It's kind of getting everywhere and kind of ruining my eye look. Hmm. But at the same time, if you're into that like smudgy mascara look, then you'd be really into this. It looks pretty on the lashes. Like it's giving me a lot of volume once I do a couple coats. But it's just, it's too liquidy. Okay, I'm done. Done playing with this. Next, we have some lip liners. I have four of them. I don't know which one to use with this lip color. This is the lip color I am wearing. It is called Ravishing Rose. But I have a hot pink, a wine color, a brown color, and a red color. So I'm probably going to go with the wine color to mix with this. I was going to do hot pink, but I feel like that's not the right move. So let's go with this one. I don't use lip liner, like, ever, so this might be really bad. Yeah, this mascara is getting everywhere. Like, look. Ugh. Okay, not a fan of that. Let's do this. Okay, I look weird. And this actually has like a brush side to it. We like smudge it out, so let's just see. Mm. Okay, so the brush thing kind of sucks, but that's okay. Let's move on to the actual lipstick itself. I actually really, really like these. I have tried these before, not this shade though. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, the color, I mean, I really like the formula of these, but I just don't, I don't know if I love the color, but that's okay. So, extreme close up. Now, let's do some setting spray. This is the Illuminating Mist and Set. I got mascara on my finger. I'm not trying to flip you off, but I wanted to show you that. So, my eyelashes are like sticking together. This mascara is a hot mess, you guys. Like, I need to clean that up before I set my face. So let's just take this translucent powder and a brush, which is actually trying to just like go in there underneath here. Like look, my eyelashes are actually sticking together. That's so bad. Hmm, 
cute. Not cute. Okay. I don't even want to set this. Let's just try. I don't even know what to try. I need to get this off of there. Why are they sticking so bad? There, that works. This thing works. Cool. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I hate my lashes. Like, extremely hate them. I feel like it kind of ruined the whole eye look. But we're just gonna go with it, I guess, because what else are we gonna do? Alright, I need to like save this. I'm gonna take this mascara. This is by um, Ico. And I'm gonna just like pray that I can fix my lashes with this. They're like clumped together. Ugh. I actually kind of liked this for half a second and now it's just no. It kind of looks like like fiber mascara, but if you just clumped them all together and put on one fiber. This is going to be so much fun to get off tonight. Yeah, they're like, mm. hmm. I'm done. I'm done trying to fix this. Whatever. We're going to just spray it and call it a day. <laughs> so, eliminating set and miss. Mist and set. I can't feel it. There. Oh, I felt that. Okay, so it's got like a very short distance. Hmm, okay. I actually feel like that helped quite a bit. It really kind of like melted everything in. So I'm liking that. Let's just take like a clean brush real quick and just kind of like swoosh everything around. Yeah, actually that's really pretty. Okay, so my skin actually looks kind of good. I like the lip color. I love the eyeshadow. I feel like I need more, but we'll see. I'm going to definitely play with this off camera and kind of like try to fix whatever mistakes I made there. And my hair looks terrible, so ignore that. But <laughs> yeah, it's mascara. Which is funny because this is my mom's favorite mascara. Like, she talks about this all the time. So, I finally wanted to, like, try it because she doesn't talk about makeup, like, ever. So, when she has something that she's, like, really into, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll try it. But I hate this <laughs> so, so much. But, yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. Let me know down below what you like that I tried and what you don't like that I tried. And if you guys have tried that mascara, how in the heck did you get it to work? Please tell me because <laughs> right now I just want to, like, throw it in the trash and... So, that's everything. Don't forget to like this video down below if you want to see future full faces from me. And if you haven't done so already, then subscribe to my channel. <laughs> like, why are you waiting for? Why are you waiting for? That's why you haven't subscribed because I can't talk. <laughs> but yeah, and if you have subscribed, then go ahead and hit that notification bell so you're actually notified when I upload so you don't miss out on more awesome videos like this one. And yeah, that's everything. Bye, guys.